<laughs> Weather's going to be good for Sunday if you're going right to be on. having a game. I know yeah. we're talking about rain chances, but it's not going to be widespread and it's not going to be a whole lot of rain. I'll show you the timing of it in just a sec. San Jose, beautiful view of downtown and satellite radar right now. You can see we're pretty much seeing overall clear skies, a couple of areas of patchy fog here and there, but that high pressure has been doing a fantastic job of keeping the sunshine around. It was a lot warmer yesterday as well, and today's daytime highs will be in the 60s, 63 degrees in Livermore, 60 degrees in Oakland, 57 in San Francisco. Now let's take a look at that timing for your hour by hour forecast. So I put this all the way through Saturday notice. We'll get a couple high clouds rolling through. The conditions stay dry for tonight into Saturday and then into Sunday. That's when we start to see the showers pop up. But look how, you know, scattered this is. Not expecting complete wide spray. A lot of you might not even see any rain out of this, but you will notice the winds kicking up. So even if you don't see rain, the wind will be a factor in your outdoor plans. Make sure you have everything tied down heading into Sunday night, early su uh, Monday morning as well. A lot of the rain notice, it's very scattered, mostly focused to the south. I mean, less than a couple uh, tenths of an inch, a couple hundredths of an inch as far as rain totals expected for Sunday. But because this is a colder air mass, it is going to bring down some of those snow elevations in St. Lucia to about 3,500 feet. And yes, it is expected to bring Sierra snow. So the travel conditions for the Sierra might get tough heading into Sunday. Make sure to check that out. We've got a couple of inches in addition to the snow. We're talking about gusty winds. Now, as we look at the snow coming down, plentiful with a Sierra snowpack, we do have the latest outlook on those temperatures when it comes to February 1st and 5th. And remember that Sierra snowpack is important, but if it starts to melt, that's when we start to see issues into April. So as we see this, notice we're going to be below average. This is good news. This is more seasonable for February into the 1st and the 5th. So those temperatures are expected to get cold behind that frontal boundary on Sunday. And also just a quick note, if you're heading into LA on Monday, they're also going to be seeing the impact of this system as well. Overnight lows will even dip down into the 30s for San Francisco, which we have not seen this season yet, but it's going to be those cold overnight lows into Monday and Tuesday that could trigger some freeze warnings as well, heading into some of those interior valleys. So of course, we'll let you know once that rolls through. Now,